Let's see what else we can change about the font. What if we want this first paragraph to be bold? We could wrap the whole paragraph in a strong tag, but that would be kind of an abuse of the strong tag. We're not really trying to say that the whole first paragraph is a highlight. We just think it might look better bolded. So instead, we should use a CSS property, font weight. Let's go up to the relevant CSS rule and say font dash weight colon bold. Ta-da, it's bold. Now, what if we want to make all these lyrics italicized, slanted? Once again, we could wrap them all in an M tag because the browser always defaults to giving M italicized style. But we shouldn't do that because that's kind of an abuse of the M tag. We're not trying to emphasize the whole song. We just think it might look better italicized. So instead, we should use a CSS property, font style. Let's go up to our relevant rule, song lyrics, say font-style colon italic. Okay, great. Notice that we have a bunch of font-related properties in one rule for our lyrics. We've got font family, font size, and font style. If we want, we can actually bundle them up into a single property, font. Just writing font italic, 13 picks, fantasy. Okay, and we can delete the three properties that we used to have, and everything looks the same. This is called a shorthand property, since, as you can see, it's a lot shorter. But me, I don't like it because I always forget what order to write the properties in, and it's just easier if I write them out one at a time. So I'm gonna bring back what I had before. It's up to you if you're a shorthander or a longhander. The important thing is to stay stylish.